Today, we will share how to fix a POCO X3 Pro that won't turn on. The most common issue with this phone is the CPU. Plug in the charger to test. The phone has no response to the charger. Let's start disassembling the phone. Insert the metal pry blade and slide through. Remove the back cover. Remove the screws with a screwdriver. Remove the motherboard cover carefully. Disconnect the battery flex cable. Then connect the phone to the DC power supply cable. Turn on the phone. The current reading on the DC power supply is not normal. Remove the DC power supply cable. Disconnect the flex cables. Remove the cameras. Disconnect the antenna wire and remove the screw on the motherboard. Take out the SIM card holder. Then take out the motherboard. Attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Remove the dust tape cover. Keep the dust tape cover while removing with tweezers. Remove the thermal pads with a pry knife. Importance of removing thermal pads to prevent the unsealed IC from moving when heated. Remove the black adhesive on the side of the CPU with a pry knife. Heat the RAM with a hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the RAM with a pry knife. Next, heat the CPU with hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. While heating, pry up the CPU with a pry knife.
Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Put some low temperature solder paste. Neutralize the temperature of the bonding pads with a soldering iron. Then remove the black adhesive residual on the bonding pads. Clean the bonding pads with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Remove the tin on the bonding pads with a solder wick. Clean with PCB cleaner. Detach the motherboard then attach the CPU to the PCB holder. Put some low temperature solder paste. Melt the solder paste while removing the black adhesive with a soldering iron. Put some paste flux. Continue to clean the CPU with soldering iron. Clean with PCB cleaner. Put some paste flux again. Clean with PCB cleaner. Reverse the CPU with tweezers. Put some paste flux. Clean with soldering iron.
Remove the black adhesive residual with a pry knife. Clean with PCB cleaner. Then clean the tin with a solder wick. Clean with PCB cleaner again. Detach the CPU and attach the RAM to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux into the RAM. Put some low temperature solder paste on the RAM. Melt the solder paste while removing the black adhesive with a soldering iron. Use the same method to clean the tin and adhesive on the RAM. After the cleaning process, let's reball the CPU. Align the reballing stencils with the CPU. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Detach the reballing stencils. Next, align the reballing stencils with the rim. Apply some solder paste and scatter it. Hold it with tweezers and heat it till the balls form. Detach the reballing stencils. After the reballing process, attach the motherboard to the PCB holder. Put some paste flux on the bonding pads. Align the CPU to the right position with tweezers. Solder the CPU with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60.
If the CPU returns to position, the CPU is soldered well. Touch the CPU gently with tweezers. Put some paste flux again. Next, align the RAM to the right position with tweezers. Solder the RAM with the hot air gun at 380 degrees Celsius and airflow 60. If the RAM returns to position, the RAM is soldered well. Touch the RAM gently with tweezers. After the motherboard has cooled, put the thermal pads and dust tape cover back on. Detach the motherboard into the PCB holder. Install the motherboard to test. Then connect the flex cables. Plug in the charger to test. The phone is now charging. Press the power button to turn on the phone. The phone turns on normally. Poco X3 Pro won't turn on has been successfully repaired.